Good morning friends, I am back again with one more video lecture on the topic Laplace transform. In this video lecture, let us discuss the Laplace transform of 1 upon root t. Now we recall existence conditions for Laplace transform. If given function f of t is piecewise continuous in the every finite sub-interval and of exponential order alpha, then its Laplace transform exists. But these conditions are sufficient conditions for existence of Laplace transform. So here, this 1 upon root p is infinite at t equal to 0 and hence it is not piecewise continuous function. Hence, it is not piecewise continuous function. But its Laplace transform exists. Now, by definition of Laplace transform, Laplace transform of 1 over root p is equal to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st times 1 over root p dt. Now, 1 over root p means t to the power minus 1 by 2. This is equal to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st times t to the power minus 1 by 2 dt. Now, substituting Substituting this st is equal to x. That is, this t is equal to x over s. And therefore, dt is equal to dx over s. Now, limits of the integration. When t equal to 0, this x is equal to 0 because s times 0 answer is 0. And when t tends to infinity, this x tends to s times infinity, again infinity, so here x tends to infinity. So therefore, Laplace transform of 1 over root t is equal to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st. Now, st is x here, so e to the power minus x times t to the power minus 1 by 2, so here t is x over s, yes. the answer is x over s yes to the power minus 1 by 2. Now dt, dt is dx over s. Yes. Now according to laws of indices x over s yes to the power minus 1 by 2, answer is x to the power minus half upon s to the power minus half times dx over s. Now again, according to laws of indices, s to the power minus half times s, answer is s to the power plus half. Now, according to laws of indices, s to the power minus half times s to the power 1, answer is s to the power plus half. Now, this integration with respect to x, therefore, 1 upon s to the power half is a constant term with respect to x. Now, therefore, taking outside the integration. So, 1 over s to the power half integration 0 to infinity. This e to the power minus x times x to the power minus half dx. Now, this is equal to 1 upon s to the power half integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus x. And we write this minus half as 1 by 2 minus 1 dx. Now we recall the definition of gamma function. So since gamma function n is equal to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus x times x to the power n minus 1 dx. So here n is greater than 0. Now by, by using this definition of gamma function this integral is gamma 1 by 2. 
So this is equal to 1 upon s to the power half gamma 1 by 2. Now this gamma 1 by 2 is root pi and therefore answer is 1 over s to the power half times root pi and this is equal to answer is root pi over s and therefore Laplace transform of 1 upon root t answer is root pi by s. Hence Laplace transform of 1 upon root t exists though it is not piecewise continuous function. Hope all of you have understood this problem. In the upcoming lecture we will solve some more problems based on the Laplace transform method. Please subscribe the channel and let me know your comments and feedback. Thank you.